Hey there, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can connect and set up your Apple Watch SE 3 to your iPhone. Let's go. Welcome back to the video. My name is Sergio and in this channel, I make life saving tech videos. So if you're new here, feel free to subscribe and hit the bell while you're down there. All right, let's get right to it. So I'm going to show you how to quickly uh, connect and set up your new Apple Watch. So it's super simple. Uh, all you need is your iPhone. Okay, and the only thing is you're gonna need to have a Bluetooth turned on your iPhone. So go over to settings and make sure that Bluetooth is on. Okay, once you have that ready, you are good to go. Make sure your Apple Watch is in this screen, the initial uh, setup of the Apple Watch. Okay, once you are here, we're gonna go ahead and open up the Apple Watch app on your iPhone. And as you can see here, it says, uh, good morning, You have a, if you have an Apple Watch, you can pair it here. So here, we're gonna select start pairing. Okay, here it's gonna ask you if you wanna set it up for yourself or for a family member. I'm gonna go ahead and select set up for myself. And it's gonna automatically uh, load the scanner here so that you can scan the orb on the Apple Watch. So as you can see here, we have the orb and uh, we're gonna place the phone camera on the orb like this. Okay, make sure that it is uh, positioned correctly here uh, and it will light up in green once it starts scanning it. Yeah, you might have to get it a little bit closer to your iPhone. There you go. There you go. It says your Apple Watch is paired. So here you have a couple options. You can restore from backup. So you can restore from uh, one of your previous Apple Watches that you may have saved here. Or if you want to just uh, start fresh, you can set it up as new Apple Watch. Okay. Here it's going to let you know which wrist you like to use your watch on. I'm going to keep it as left wrist. Continue. Here it's just us uh, showing you the terms and conditions that you have to agree to. Hit agree. All right, so now it says connecting your Apple Watch. This may take a moment, and this is gonna show up on your Apple Watch. And here we have the terms and conditions. Go ahead and select agree. All right, here it's asking you if you wanna create a password. Uh, so you can create a password, create a long password, or don't add passcode. So I'm just gonna select don't add passcode for now. Don't use passcode. Okay, here it's, uh, it's asking if you want to enable location services uh, so that you can, you know, track your Apple Watch if you ever leave it somewhere and also for apps and data. So I'm just going to select, select uh, enable location. Okay. And then here we can select the size that we want the fonts and the text. I'm going to leave it in the middle here. Continue. Oh, you can also select if you want the text in bold. Here it says uh, Apple Watch shares settings with iPhone for location services, find my iPhone Siri, hit okay. Here it's just asking you for uh, some personal information to personalize fitness and health. Here you can set up the activity app, which tracks your daily activity, um, set up activity. So here you can select how your daily move goal and calories. Okay, I'm gonna hit skip this step. Uh, you can get notifications about your health. Okay, so hit continue. Here it's just letting you know uh, what the Apple Watch can do in, in the event of uh, emergency for safety. So emergency SOS, if you hold the side button right here, um, it will call emergency services and notify emergency contacts. Also, the Apple Watch has crash detection. So if the Apple Watch detects a car crash, it can call emergency services for you. And it also has backtrack in a remote setting. Apple Watch can record your route in case you get lost. Pretty cool. So hit continue. Okay, here it's uh, just letting you know of the control gestures with the Apple Watch. So if you go like this, it will change from screen to screen. Also, if you double tap, it can, uh, if you double tap your index and thumb together twice, it can answer calls, reply to messages, see your smart stack and more. Hit continue. And this is depth. It can automatically detect if you're underwater and it can measure time and depth up to 20 feet. So you can select open depth when submerged. Apple Watch is syn syn syncing, so uh, there you go, it's syncing. Give it a couple seconds or a few minutes. In the meanwhile, you can get to know your Apple Watch. Uh, here's all of the different things here that you can uh, check out to learn more on how to use your Apple Watch, what's new in Watch OS. Okay, so uh, just give it some time here for it to finish syncing. And there you go, the Apple logo disappeared, so it looks like it may be done or not. It's still showing. 
So here we have a device added to your account and Apple Watch has no access to it, okay. And there we go, it looks like it finished. We are at the hello screen here, so select start. Here we can take a tour of the Watch OS 26. Okay, so if you press the digital crown, you'll see apps. There we go, uh, since we just set it up, they're still installing. Press the digital crown to return to your watch face. Press the side button to open the control center and press the side button to close the control center. Turn the digital crown to see your widgets. Welcome to Apple Watch. All right, so there you go. That is how you connect and set up your Apple Watch SE 3. Go ahead and please enjoy the like button if this video helped you out and comment down below and let me know. And also, if you wanna check out our 45 watt super fast chargers, which charge your phone three times as fast as regular chargers, check out the links down below in the description. So that's all for this video. I'll catch you guys in the next one. As always, peace.